Yo, what's up everybody? Greg2G here, and today we're going to be talking about the druid, the new character named Perosa. So yeah, before we were calling her a fire mage because it, that's what it looked like when we saw the pictures of her, um, saw some gameplay, fire tornadoes and stuff like that, but yeah, I didn't actually see any of the gameplay with her shape-shifting, and she can shape-shift, so we're going to go and go ahead and call her a druid. I feel like she's closer to the druid in Diablo 2, or maybe even the druid in World of Warcraft. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the not notification bell, like or dislike the video. I appreciate all your support. All right, let's get into it. This character is said to be the best secondary character in the game, and I believe that to be true. So starting out, we're actually going to start talking about her strengths as a secondary character first so first of all her passive effect called blazing elf now the text here is kind of confusing but i feel like it's uh, <laughs> like they made they wrote this a little bit more complicated than they, than they needed to so after using an active skill it activates the aura granting summoned the crit rate up effect after defeating an enemy, you will get the crit rate up effect for 10 seconds. If you don't defeat the target, but there is only one enemy nearby, you will also gain the crit rate up effect, whose duration can be refreshed. Okay, so let's break this down. So basically, right as you use a skill, it'll give all summoned the crit rate up effect. Um, if there are multiple enemies surrounding you, you will get the crit rate up effect, effect only after killing an enemy. But if there's only one enemy, like a boss, for example, you will get the crit rate up effect when using an active skill, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but um, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, basically uh, she can increase your crit rate up by 5%. And then it gets better and better as you increase her soul rank. We can get up to 8%, 12%. And then as every other character has, you get the 3% damage amplification at yeah, soul rank five. Okay, now let's look at her talents. I already have kind of a rough build here. And I'm not, I have no idea if this is any good or not, like overall. I mean, I did, I basically made this with the idea in mind that I'm pretty, pretty much not gonna be playing her at all, just using her as a secondary, but I did pick up some skills and stuff that I thought would be useful in case I do have to use her. But yeah, let's go and let's just focus on the the team talents to start off with. So Flame Core. So I guess this one probably isn't the most necessary one. You might you might want to skip out on this if you uh, want to put stuff in other places and actually use her to do damage and stuff. But yeah, max HP plus twenty percent. So basically, for twenty seconds and a fifteen second cooldown. So basically, uh, almost a permanent twenty percent HP buff. And then this one, this is the one everyone's going to want to have. Precise hunting. When you or your summon hits an enemy, if this attack crits, it increases you or your summon's crit rate and crit damage for 10 seconds with a cooldown of 5 seconds. That's 2% 2, 2 crit rate and 6% crit damage. And then this one also is a must-have. Blaze Aura. Activates Blaze Aura when using an active skill for the first time, granting self and self-summoned damage. That's an interesting... Like, uh, wording there, self-summoned damage. Does that mean only damage that Perosa summons herself? Not really sure. But yeah, amp damage amplification effect of 15%. And it's 15 meters, so that's an aura. So yeah, you can see why you can see why people are saying this is the best secondary character. Because this, all these abilities, these talents, these auras apply to every character. Like, every character wants crit. Every character wants more HP too, why not? And every character wants more damage. 15% damage amplification, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so I don't really think any of the other characters really come close to this as far as like being an inactive character as a secondary. Now, one thing like that could kind of, we could argue against this is using Isadora with her pets as a secondary because her, her pets do quite a bit of damage as well. So it's uh, it's hard to say whether the Isadora pets or these talents would actually do more damage overall. That's, that's That would be like really, really hard to test. But 
in general, yeah, it's looking like Peros is the number one choice to have as a secondary if you're not going to actively play that secondary. All right, so let's talk about her skills now. So we're just going to do this in order of color. We'll do all the white skills, then all the blue skills, and so on. Right now, we'll start with the whites. All right, so the first skill is called Flame Shadow Shield. Flash backwards and gain a fire shield for five seconds. This effect is stackable. So this sounds basically the same as Alina's, but yeah, I think I think it is basically the exact same as Alina's. Uh, even the percentage, 27%. Th let's look at Al Alina's real quick, just to compare real quick here. Okay, so yeah, Alina's flash is basically the exact same. Hers is a little bit more strong. I don't know, maybe that's because of some something I did I have no idea, <laughs> maybe her talents or something like that. But yeah, basically the exact same ability as Alina right there. All right, Flame Spear creates six Flame Spears in succession to attack enemies dealing massive damage. All right, so after this, by the way, after we talk about all the abilities and what they do, we're gonna go into the training room and actually show what they look like. But big skill damage, 20, 228% damage with a six second cooldown on that one. Flame Tide, unleash a slowly advancing wave of fire, dealing damage to enemies per second for three seconds and knocking them back. 393% with a six second cooldown. And Burning and Revival. So now this one sounds really interesting. So I guess you switch it on and off or something. But anyway, gain extra damage up effect after activation. During that activation period, you get a burning effect that deducts your HP every second. When you activate it again, you will be reborn and your HP will restore every second. So I guess it's like just a toggle, a buff toggle that increases your extra damage by a little bit, 8.9%. And yeah, I guess 10, you lose 10% HP per second and recover 10% HP per second. Kind of interesting. I think the, the HP recovery version, if that, if that stays on permanently, that's pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, the extra damage buff is kind of worthless, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's go take a look at how these look in action. Okay, all right, we'll start with the teleport ability. Flashes forward, gives you a shield. If you are holding a direction, then, then if you have your joystick in a neutral position, it flashes backwards. And then, is this the spear one? Yeah, it looks like six spears that rain down from the sky. Oh, that's that was pretty cool. Oh, what? So you like summon like a, a tiger or a cat of some sort that comes out and does a good burst amount of damage there. And then here's <laughs> here's the buff. I wonder if it actually can kill me. Let me let's see. Let's figure out if this can, can actually kill you. Okay, yeah, you can actually kill yourself with this. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> so I failed. I failed the training room. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I, that might be a world first right there. I might, unless somebody else <laughs> tried this before me today. Um, at least uh, <laughs> in the global version, in the English version of the game. That might be a world first right there. <laughs> world first <laughs> fail in the training room. Nice. Alright, let's go back in there and uh, see how... I want to see if the healing effect is like permanent, if that's... If I can figure that out somehow. All right, we'll switch on the buff again, get hurt a little bit here, and then switch to the other version. Okay, we have this green aura around us. Let's see if this is like, the aura actually goes away. Or is it that icon? Wait a second. Yeah, it's the icon under our feet. So this red icon under our feet that's the icon for the damage boost and kill yourself buff. And then it appears that this will be permanent. So you get a permanent 10% HP per second. So nice survivability there. Not sure if it will actually be useful in uh, the end game, but yeah. That part of it's useful. The, the other part, yeah, I wouldn't mess around too much with that that extra damage buff just to, that can actually kill you. All right, moving on, let's do the, let's do the orange skills next. Flame Shadow Fire Ring, turn into flame and keep advancing 
dealing damage to enemies every 0.5 seconds. So that sounds a lot like um, Isadora's sneak. So it sounds like she's just, few of her abilities are just copy paste of a couple of the other characters' abilities. Fire orb, unleash three fire orbs around yourself. When the orbs contact the enemy, they inflict damage for six seconds. That sounds a lot like uh, the bison's <laughs> lightning orbs. <laughs> All right, 44.3% damage on that for a six second cooldown. I didn't mention the damage on this one, 16.8% with a six second cooldown on that one. All right, Fire Bear Spirit. So the orange abilities are the bear st style abilities, I guess. Create a bear spirit to bound the ground in front of you, dealing damage to enemies. 1,334.1% with a six second cooldown. And then bear form. Shape shift into bear form and gain new skills. Flame shadow charge. Charge into a designated location and deal damage to enemies in the path. Wild trample. Trample on the ground and deal damage to enemies in the surrounding area. Wild growl. Roar skyward and gain an attack boost. Shape shift to maximize damage output. Talent match. Dire bear spirit. So flame shadow charge damage is 31.6%. Looks like all of these have a 0.5 second cooldown, I suppose. Wild Trample damage, 387%. And Wild Growl boosts your attack by 9.83%. Times a bunch of other math stuff here. So, yeah. Sounds pretty pretty fun, actually. It's, it actually gets me, it gets me pretty interested in, like, um, how you can mix and match th these, uh, these abilities. So, like... You could have bear form, which obviously will change the these three abilities into something completely different. And then you could have you know, shift back out of bear form and maybe do some some like direct damage. I don't know. It, so there's a lot of possibilities here. It'll be like this is basically the first character that actually has more than four abilities. <laughs> like this one would have seven. And that's pretty that's pretty cool. Let's go see how they look. All right, here's ability one, the one that's like sneak. Interesting. So like, I didn't move forward myself. It like made me jump forward a little bit, like that. So I guess it's not as quite as the same as sneak, because sneak I think makes you move a little bit further. But yeah, kind of the same idea it seems like. But oh, yeah, the damage comes out a lot quicker. All right, so the fire orbs. Oh. Okay, this is not this is quite the same as uh, the lightning orbs because this has a lot longer range and the lightning orbs have a 0.5 second cooldown. Okay, and this is the big bear swipe thingy. That looks pretty sick. And then let's go into bear form. Let's have a look at the bear form real quick. Pretty, pretty cool looking, I think. Uh, I don't know any bears that have antlers, but yeah. Other than that, <laughs> pretty sick. All right, so this is the the charge ability. This is the roar ability. No, that one was the roar. So this was this one was the slam. Oh, it's like a stomp. Okay, I, I see. Okay, and then swap back out. Only a point less. Seems like point four second cooldown just to swap between. Yeah, that seems like it would be a lot of fun. But yeah, people are saying. As a primary, she's not so great. I might still try try to make something work for her as a primary. Because this seems like some fun gameplay right here. Because basically what you would want to do is like put these three abilities as some long cooldowns. These ones are only six seconds, so... But yeah, then we can swap out while those are on cooldown. Swap back. Oh, this works perfectly, actually. Oh, we're out of energy already, though. But yeah, it's actually possible to basically keep all seven of your, or six of your abilities on cooldown while swapping in and out of bear form yeah pretty cool it's gonna be fun to play around with this next we'll have a look at the red abilities which are the cat form abilities as you can see right here with the cat flame shadow twin leopards flash to the designated position and create two panther shadows to attack enemies oh so you can actually like aim your flash Interesting. Yeah, we'll have to try that out in a moment here. 98% uh, damage with a 6 second cooldown. A lot of these, a lot of 6 second cooldowns here. 
All right, Flame Tornado. Unleash a slowly advancing fire tornado, dealing damage once to enemies every 0.5 seconds for three seconds. And keep drawing them to the center. Oh, it draws them to the center. Okay, cool. 183.5% with another six second cooldown. Flame Meteor. Call down meteorites in a designated area that deal massive damage and stun enemies. 1,212%. Six second cooldown. So th yeah, maybe these six second cooldowns are sub are on purpose. Like, does it designed this way on purpose? So you can actually swap in and out while those are on cooldown. Okay, and Leopard Form. Shape shift into leopard form and gain new skills. Flame shadow dive. Pounce on the designated location and deal damage. Sharp claws. Damage the enemies in front of you three times. Swipe. Deal damage to enemies around you. Flame shadow has a 52.5% damage on that one. Sharp claws 133.2%. Swipe 285.8%. And they're all on six second cooldowns. So should be... Pretty similar gameplay to the bear form where you swap back and forth. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna use my mouse to drag. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Can't drag that one. Okay, this one we can aim. Oh, that's, that's pretty sick looking, that flame tornado, holy crap. And then the meteor. That's pretty sick, pretty sick. All right, let's check out the cat form abilities. So this was the pounce attack. All right, let's do that again a little bit slower this time. So we had the pounce attack. We had the, was that the, that was the third one swipe. I forget what the second one's called, but uh, third, yeah, second one's called claw, right? So pounce, swipe, and then the third one's claw. Really cool animations there. Going to be fun to play around with that one as well. All right, moving on to the last one. All right, so the last ones will be the blue skills. Flame Shadow Thorn. Flash backwards, extra damage reduction for six seconds. Okay, pretty simple there. Flame Seed. Detonate five seeds around yourself while recreating five seed seeds nearby. 1,114% damage on a six Second cooldown. Sprouting. Create a sprouting zone under your feet for three seconds, creating flame seeds once every 0.5 seconds. And while you are in the sprouting zone, you restore HP every second. 74.3% skill damage. Covers HP by a maximum of 8%. Six second cooldown. Flame vine. Creates vines in the designated area. Dealing damage every second for six seconds. In addition, when the vines appear, there will appear five flame seeds that last for six seconds. Okay, so this sounds like um, it's like a more mage base, more mage, or I guess like everyone shouldn't say mage, more druid style where you just stay in your same form the whole time. Making flame seeds pop up, blowing them up, that sort of thing. Sounds interesting. Let's uh, see how it looks. All right, so the, this first one was just a flash ability. I don't know why you would want a flash ability that just reduces extra damage taken. That sounds uh, stupid. <laughs> like I would just use the white flash ability that gives you a flame shield. Um, that's just me though. This 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 seems kind of silly. Anyway, flame seeds. All right, so there's some flame seeds. Do they blow up or something? Huh. Okay, let's start with the vines. I think I'm supposed to use the vines first and then blow up these seeds. I feel like there's gonna be a really cool set that makes this this build really, really cool, but um, maybe without any sets or legendaries going along with this, it's not as cool as it should be. Yeah, it seems like, I don't know, did this actually blow up all the seeds? Like, I just don't understand how these seeds are actually supposed to work. It 
yeah, I don't know. I don't quite understand the rotation on these, but um, yeah, like I said, maybe something with a, there's some sort of set that actually makes this into something pretty freaking cool. So now that we've seen all the skills, let's take another look at the talents and kind of just see which talents are supposed to work with what. I think it's pretty clear at the start that um, the normal attack ones are going for the bear form and the skill attack ones are going for the leopard form, the cat form. And then that just leaves the blue ones for the blue abilities. <laughs> I always wondered why like, okay, so we have orange abilities, we have blue abilities. And then we have red abilities. So why did they not, why did this decide to make these purple instead of red? You know? Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty clear right there. Let's go ahead and just like look at a few of the the bigger nodes here. Leopard hunting, 886% damage on a two second cooldown. That sounds pretty nice. Tearing claw strike, three times, 396% on a four second. And Leopard Strike on 1,000% on a 6 second cooldown. That's some pretty nice bursty damage. Growling Charge. When hitting an enemy with normal attack, cast Growling Charge around self to damage around enemies. 340% on a 4 second cooldown. Bear Spirits Trample. When hitting an enemy with normal attack, cast Bear Spirits Trample around self to damage surrounding enemies. 900% normal attack damage. And let's just go ahead and look, look at the last one. Quaking Bear. 20% chance of casting Quaking Bear at the target after each normal attack with a 0.1 second cooldown. Wow, that's pretty crazy. And uh, from what I noticed, Perosa has a really, really fast attack speed. Maybe not in bear form. I didn't actually check the attack speed in bear form of the normal attack, but... Yeah, that could be pretty fun. That could be pretty fun to play there. And then we're looking at Fiery Explosion, 7.4% damage with a 1 second cooldown. Burning Flame, 14.8% second interval for 8 seconds. And then Tornado Flame, 22.15% damage after using an active skill. 0.67 second interval, that's interesting, with a duration of 1.5 seconds. So it ticks twice over 1.5 seconds, I guess, with a 0.5 second cooldown. All right. So, yeah, basically the same sort of layout as most of the other characters with your extra damage, abilities and talents on the right, skill attack on the left, and normal attack on the bottom. What... I find interesting though here is like for the leopard abilities I think you need normal attack as well I feel like you're supposed to also maybe not maybe I don't know maybe you're actually supposed to weave in and out and just use your skills and I guess the bear is supposed to use its normal attack more often yeah no idea this is all just complete speculation I will let you guys know how it plays out and I'll try to make some builds and play around with stuff and uh, let you guys know how it feels and if they're actually viable as like a main character. Anyway, that'll be the end of this video for today. Sorry, um, I've been stumbling over my words more than usual. Uh, I think I'm just like, fatigue is catching up with me. I think I only got like three or four hours of sleep today. Then this patch hits, I'm trying to, uh, had a huge busy day. I, I barely have any time to actually make a video. I'm trying to make a video as quickly as I can and it's just not my best not my best video I've ever made but hopefully still informative thanks so much if you've watched this far I apologize I'll try to get more sleep but yeah I think this character is pretty freaking awesome definitely worth buying and uh, you don't have to buy her either you can just wait you can unlock her for free yep Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on twitch.tv slash great to G and twitter.com slash great to G. Keep it real. We'll see you next time. GG's.